Okay, guys, I'm just going to make this short video on how you can add devices on the Microtech Build and use those to monitor and manage these devices. It's very easy to use. It's simple. You go to microtech.com, you download Build Server for Windows, and you have it installed. And after doing that, all you just have to do is to make sure that the device is on the same network or the host, the host you want to monitor from the device can be reachable from the server. That's all you need to do. So having done that, you come over here to add devices to the build. You click on the, uh, the add sign over here, click on device. You click anywhere inside this white uh, space and you add the add IP address of the device. Okay, the password on the uh, microtech device. You can also use it to manage other devices, the network hosts that are not microtech device. Okay, so you just add the um, username and password on the device. And since it's a microtech device, I'm going to use both secured and router OS to access this device. So you click on next. You add at least one of the services running on this device. Okay, and I know I have Telnet enabled on this device, so I'm going to choose Telnet. After you've done that, you click on apply, you click on OK, and you click on finish. There you have it. You're going to have the device like this. It's going to show up like this. So you want to add another one because obviously I have a point to point link I want to manage with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and add another one. So you click on this one and click another place because I need to make a map. So click and enter the IP address of the other device and enter my password on that device as well and check the secure and router or smoke and click on next and add the service running on it at least one of them you can add more than one okay ssh is here you can add ssh you can add tenet you can add http you can add ftp anything okay that you know is enabled on that device you just add it up that's what the server is going to use to probe that device to make sure that it is uh, monitored on the real time. The next thing you need to you know, represent the map here to show that these two devices are connected, they are point to point. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'll click on link. Then click on one of the devices, hold down the button and drag to the other side. Then you leave it. Okay. Once you've gotten to the other side, it's going to ask you. Okay, which of the devices are you connecting to? I'm connecting from this 57 to 58. I'm going to choose 58. And then to ask me, the mastering type, this simple is going to be router OS because I'm obviously using uh, microtech devices on both ends. So you click on router OS. What interface are you connecting to? Since this link is a point to point link, I am connecting over the wireless LAN 1, so I'm going to choose wireless LAN 1, and it's going to ask me what type of connection is it, I'm, I'm going to choose point to point, click on it, and I'll say OK, so there you have it, I can monitor these devices here real time, if they go down, it's going to change to red, and over here, I can simply place my mouse here, and I will get real-time information on the traffic that is passing through this link as you can see at the moment the link is doing over 3 mbps okay and i can easily log into these devices by simply clicking on it right clicking and going to tools and all the way to windows and i should be in in no time as you can see the device is opening and once it opens i should be able to log in just like that okay I am logged into the device so that's how quick and easy it is for you to set up the build and use it to monitor your devices in real time thanks for watching this video and don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel on youtube you can visit my blog for more tech information on everything from networking on cisco on microtech to you know, how to set up things on your pcs and on your window phones and your android phones and your iris phone and more you can uh, uh, follow us on twitter at tinigate like us on facebook at tinigate ng on instagram at tinigate ng you can send me a mail on tinigate ng at gmail.com
Thanks for watching and stay safe.